Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mark Boyd. I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist. I've been in practice a long time, 25 years. The question of when can I get pregnant, how it relates to my menstrual cycle, how it relates to ovulation is a very, very important question that most women don't feel comfortable answering on their own. If you click the link below, I've addressed this in multiple other videos that will take you to my site. We have a large amount of information as far as getting pregnant and pregnancy care and postpartum care. I encourage you to go to that site. Now, how many days after you have your menstrual cycle can I get pregnant? And the answer is the next day all the way until the end of that cycle and you're getting ready to start your next cycle. Now that's a huge range, but you have to quantify what I mean by those numbers. Now, we're going to have several different scenarios that may exist here. We're gonna have a woman that has a 21 day cycle and we're gonna also look at a woman that has a 28 day cycle. And we're gonna compare those two women as it relates to when you ovulate after your menstrual cycle. First of all, it's important to identify what a menstrual cycle is. A menstrual cycle is a bleed. That means you did not get pregnant and you're passing the tissue from your previous cycle. First day that you see any blood, that's called day one. You count from that point to your next cycle, that's called your intermenstrual cycle. Intermenstrual cycles on most women that are normal by definition are 21 days, and they go up to 35 days. So, so from the beginning of one to the beginning of the next, if that's 21, 28, 35, that's all defined as normal. Now, typically you follow the same pattern. If your cycles are all over the place, 21, 48, 35, typically in that woman, you are not ovulating. And in that scenario, I would encourage you to get with your healthcare provider and decide if you wanna have normal cycles, should you be on the birth control pill. So we're gonna address the 21 day cycle first. You go from one cycle to the next, and when that intermenstrual period is 21 days, typically you ovulate around day seven. So 21 days, you subtract 14 days, that's day seven. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you ovulate on day seven. You may subtract five days from that, or you may add five days to that. So potentially you're ovulating from day two up until day 12. So again, if you start your period on a Monday and you're gonna ovulate that particular month on day three, that would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and potentially you can ovulate when you're still doing some bleeding. That's a difficult scenario for a lot of women. So this was a 21 day cycle. If you click the link below, I have a guide that will give you help on where you are in an ovulatory period from cycle to cycle based on your length. I encourage you to click that below. Let's give the 28 day scenario. In a 28 day cycle, you ovulate around day 14. So you take 28 days, you subtract 14 days, and then your ovulatory period is you need to subtract a week from that, seven days, and add a week to that, seven days. So your ovulatory period would be day seven to day 21. Now, that means you get together with your spouse. You say, honey, we're gonna have intercourse every day, every 48 hours. No, you can have intercourse every 24 hours. It's much more difficult. It's called performance anxiety for the man. So typically we recommend every 48 hours. That should give a length of time for the sperm and the egg to get together. Sperm's still alive for 48 hours. The egg's alive for 12 to 24 hours. So every 48 hours, we'll keep fresh sperm in there to, to potentially identify an egg. So a very complicated issue for most women. Very, very important that you keep good records, whether you keep a calendar on a piece of paper, whether you keep a calendar in your phone. If you keep good information and good history, this becomes much easier in whether you're gonna ovulate as it relates to your period. Again, I encourage you to go to my guide below, click the link, you'll have a lot more information to help you as a patient. Have a great day.